Do you guys want to know how to make $10,000 a month of junk removal? This is the freaking video for you. Keep watching. I'm looking at my notes. Don't mind if I'm looking down, guys. All right, guys. Everybody knows by now. You should know by now. And if you don't know and you're new here, you know that I have a Discord channel. There's 1,300 of us in our Discord. Join the Discord in the link below, but you have access to me anytime you want to ask a question. I live and breathe in the Discord channel. All of my resources for free, pricing sheet, check-in, check-out sheet, anything you want to know, the services that I use, anything that I give away for free is in the Discord channel. Click the link below to join the Discord and talk with 1,300 other like-minded people trying to build and has a, or has a successful junk removal business. So please join the Discord channel down below right after this video. I have launched an amazing course. It is jam packed with content. It goes through everything about building a junk removal business from the foundation, the legal, the employees, the systems, the trucks, the tools, the pricing, the marketing, the SEO, building a website, running your own Google ads campaigns if you don't wanna hire somebody. I mean, it's just insane how much content is in this course. So guys, if you wanna check out the course and you want your A to Z on how to build a junk removal business, check it out in the link below. What up guys, my name is Andrew. I'm a serial entrepreneur, a software engineer, and a junk removal business owner. I started a junk removal business as a stepping stone to return to my passion of technology and apps. I invite you to stick around, hang out, follow me on my journey from becoming a junk removal business titan to building a billion dollar home services app, and that is true. So, I've been wanting to make this video for a while, guys how to make $10,000 a month. I have made a video here on how to make $1,000 a day and a video here on how to make $5,000 a day. And you should probably go watch those so you can see my perspective a year ago or almost a year ago when those videos came out. I also have a video here on how to build a junk removal business and make $100,000 to $250,000 a year. And that's two and a half hours long. So there's plenty of information here, but things change times change, it's been eight months, and I wanna simplify this for you. Watch the two and a half hour video if you guys want details, but I wanna just cut the fluff and tell you what you need to do. I'm gonna break it down for three simple steps, guys. This is gonna be mind boggling easy. You're probably gonna think this video is dumb, but this is the reality of it, guys. If you want to have consistent $1,000 days, $5,000 days, you know, with two trucks or whatever, you need a consistent lead flow. Unless you've been in business for four to five years, like, Sonoma Strong, who they built a foundation. They did the grunt work in the beginning and they reaped the rewards. Their Google business profile is very strong. They have networked with thousands of people, repeats and referrals. They also do traditional marketing. They do flyers, they do yard signs, but they have worked from the ground up with networking. They talk about how they did in-person sales. They talk about all this initial work that they put in in the beginning that has paid off to them where they do kind of get the organic leads, less the yard signs. So those are organic leads come and they don't have to pay for the traffic because they put in years of work. And another example, Ricardo from Junk Guys DFW, funny guy, awesome guy. He talks a lot about SEO and all this stuff, but the thing is, is he's been in business for 15 years. The longer you survive in business, it's like compounding interest, guys. If you can get past that four year mark, that three year mark, that five year mark, you now have compounding interest on your business. Repeats, referrals, more contracts over time, things just naturally get better and junk removal. And my repeats and referrals are constantly going up from my two years of running Google Ads. More organic growth from SEO, from Google Maps, from repeats, referrals, just pour in. People getting into this business now don't have the luxury of doing that anymore. I mean, yes, you can do the grunt work, but the fact of the matter is, is a new business owner can't just start a business and then traffic starts showing up. So what I'm saying is since you don't have a foundation, you haven't been in business for years, if you want to get to that $1,000 a day mark, guys, and it's very possible, but we need to be realistic here. We're gonna talk about all the traditional marketing that you can do, all the free online marketing you can do, but if you want to stay in business and consistently make $10,000 a month or $20,000 a month gross, 15, 20, so you can profit 10, you need a consistent lead flow. And that is gonna be three people who bring you consistent leads, guys. Three, technically four, but Thumbtack isn't that big, but you got Thumbtack, you have Yelp, you have Facebook, and you have Google. Everybody knows about Facebook. Everybody knows about Yelp, but we all know Google's the hotness. And why is it the hotness? Because people are actively looking for junk removal that motherfucking second. 
People on Facebook are scrolling passively. They see it, they're interested, but passive. It's a warm lead, not a hot lead. Yelp and Thumbtack, they are lead gens, and they're hot because they're looking for it, but the problem is it's always a race to the bottom. You are fighting against five other motherfuckers who are willing to go lower and lower. You, it's just a race to the cheapest price. I would say 25% is who responds faster. I would almost say even 50% because sometimes people just take the first person who responds, calls and lock them in. You got the price shoppers on there. So Thumbtack people and lead and Yelp people, their leads are being sold to five different companies and it's a race to the cheapest price. And it worked for me. I started with Craigslist and Thumbtack in the beginning and I didn't know how to price. I didn't know anything. And I just hustled Thumbtack and it worked. Did decent until my Google ads started ramping up. Those could be great lead sources in the beginning if you just need to start getting some business and you're willing to be a little bit cheaper to get the practice to get a little bit of money in the bank. It's a great way to start. It's so competitive with Yelp and Thumbtack. It's a whole nother video, guys. What I'm trying to say is if you want to get to that level, guys, you're most likely going to have to run Google Ads unless you just hustle the fucking shit and you get some contracts. You place a few hundred yard signs. Up. Like if you're if your boots in the street, like hustling, networking, it's possible. But we're going to talk about the reality of what I think is the best way to do to get to that level. But before we get into that, guys, I'm assuming you're interested in getting into junk removal and you've seen the videos that say make $500 a day, make $1,000 a day. It's very true. That's what got me into it. I saw those and I was like, holy shit, you can make this much money from it. But here's the thing, guys. I want you to realize the difference between an owner operator versus a business owner. I want to talk about owner operator just really quick, just so you guys can know the difference of where you're going to be at in the beginning versus what you want to get to. Because if you're doing 10 to 20K a month, 30K even, 50K even, you're going to be on the truck full time. So you actually become self-employed, an employee of your own business and one thing I want to talk about that kind of opened my eyes into the business world was rich dad poor dad but when I read his other book cash flow quadrant in that book he talks about a quadrant that has employee self-employed and then on the other side you have business owner and investor and rich dad talks about the difference between employee and self-employee he says most people still become stuck in the rat race as he calls it is you go from employee and yes you get to control the clients you work with yes you you get to control all kinds of other factors but you still become an employee of your own business where you're still a slave to the system. I don't mean to see, say slave to the system, but you still become self-employed where if you get sick for a week, two weeks, you want to go on vacation for a month, your business stops. That's the difference between becoming self-employed to becoming a business owner. I was self-employed up into one month ago and the entire business was dependent on me still. Although I was off the truck and off the phones, I was still running operations. I still had to talk with the employees every day. I still had to deal with all the nightmares and the chaos and all the, the things that happen in the business, which is a lot of stuff that still needs to be handled as an ops manager. A tire blows out, a truck breaks down. So once I finally got an ops manager, I went from the EB side of the quadrant to the business owner side of the quadrant. And I don't remember exactly what Rich Dad Poor Dad said, but he said something like what really determines self-employed and the business owner the difference is if you can leave your business for a month and it still progresses and you don't lose any money and your business will be just fine. That's what separates the two. Most people who get into junk removal, they want to make some good money because they just need to start making money and that's where I was at. But then they start realizing, oh shit, I can turn this into an actual business. Figure out what you want to do. Do you want to be an owner operator and you're happy with just 10K a month and you're good? Or is this something you're trying to grow and you want to have multiple trucks? You want to grow this into an actual business. But my goal for now is to help you on the owner operator side. I'm not going to teach you how to scale on this video. I'm not going to show you how to get to multiple trucks or whatever. The goal of this video is to show you how you get to 10 to 20 K gross sales with just you and possibly obviously you need one employee on the side. So now that you know the difference between owner operator and business owner as told by rich dad, poor dad, we could dive into helping you guys get to that 10 K a month. So here's the reality of getting to 10 K a month. You need to be in a decent population. Okay. So when I first started, the population of Ventura County was a million. And this is something I don't necessarily 100% know the number to tell you, but I've heard and talked to, and there's a lot of people in the discord channel. You want to at least have a population that you can serve probably at least a quarter million to get to this 20 K a month. When it comes to Google ads, there's only so much search volume with your populations versus what you do on the ground and what networking, because if you do massive amounts of networking on the ground, you land commercial contracts, you do in-person sales, you could very well just from that alone, bring in 10K a month. 
but you might be in just like a hundred thousand population. So you can make more money doing that versus you can Google ads. It's safe to say though, you guys, you probably want at least a quarter million that you're willing to serve. So even if you get the drive out of your area, like, you know, 30 miles, 50 miles in each direction, we'll go all the way from Ventura all the way to Pasadena, which I think is like 60 miles. So we'll go 60 miles, you know, but the thing is, is we're stacking jobs. So like if it was just one single item that far away, but we get multiple jobs, it stacks up. Point being, population does matter. But you could honestly get to $10,000 a month just doing this. Yard signs, door hangers, in-person sales, gift baskets, networking, BNI events, chamber of commerce, Craigslist posting, Craigslist hunting in the gig section where people are looking for like get rid of things. You can go hustle on Craigslist, Facebook groups, resharing in Facebook groups, join a hundred of them. And then your post is going to get deleted out of a, a few, but you'll find the ones that stick and then you'll share to 20 Facebook groups. I reshare my post to Facebook groups and you know, I share it to a hundred, but now I have about 20 that I share to. And you know, that's not gonna bring you a lot of business, but it's something to start. You could hustle Facebook Marketplace, looking in the free section and reaching out to people who are trying to get rid of stuff and then just, and just be like, hey, I know you're trying to get rid of this. If you can't, call me. Next door, you got social media, you got boosting your Facebook posts, which you can just boost for a few bucks. That works for some people. And just hustling all of the free online marketing stuff that you can do. I mean, there's so many things you can do that if you actually just did everything I listed, you could get to $10,000 a month, no problem. Just that alone. But in order for us to get to $10,000 a month profit, we need to make at least 15 to 20, which comes out to, let's just call it $1,000 a day. So we need to make $5,000 a week on average. Where I started, guys, was Craigslist posting every day. $300 a month, I posted twice a day, 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. in the Ventura County section on Craigslist. That probably just brought a few jobs a month. Thumbtack was my main source until Google Ads you know, kicked in. So how do we get to $20,000 a month? You guys have probably heard this multiple times, but this is the reality. Like I said, you can do all that, the yard signs, the door hangers, the hustling, the in-person sales, the marketing on the internet for free that you can figure out through Facebook groups and Facebook posts and sharing and small little booths for five, 10 bucks, next door, social media, all of that stuff. But if you guys wanna to get to $20,000 a month, like I said in the beginning of the video, there's one way to do it. You need a constant lead source. And one of these lead sources that everybody knows is Google. Andrew from the future here. <laughs> As I was about to publish this video, I forgot we need to talk about the kind of truck that you need. Before we kind of really get into these three simple steps, it really is gonna be three simple steps. And I know it's probably gonna be so simple, but it's so true. It really is the reality, and we'll get into that in a second. But what I wanna talk about is the truck. You can technically do this with just a pickup truck. It would be very hard. You would have to put up sidewalls on the pickup truck you could technically make that work, but honestly, it needs to be a truck and trailer. You can get away with just a, a simple little utility trailer. Make sure you put some sidewalls. It doesn't need to be anything too big. Long as you can charge 500 to $1,000 per full load, somewhere in that range, you wanna get a decent size utility trailer, 10 feet long, no shorter than eight feet if you could. And then a dump trailer, realistically, would be best. You could finance one, and you can see that video here on financing a dump trailer, but you'd wanna wait until you feel like this is the business, you're 100% set, you've done the market research. You could also obviously do this with a box truck or a dump truck, box trucks you have to unload by hand, but if you have a box truck that a friend you can rent from somebody, that's how I did it, I found a box truck to rent from a handyman who just had it sitting around and I rented it from, you can do that too. But guys, in order to make this $20,000 a month, you are gonna need to attach a trailer to your pickup truck, whether it's a normal trailer, utility trailer, and you put some sidewalls, or it already has sidewalls, or a dump trailer, or a box truck, or a dump truck. I wanted to make sure that I mentioned what kind of truck, and if you needed a trailer, kind of left that part out. So future Andrew, out. We do not need to go over setting up the business or any of that stuff. We do not need to talk about the website. We need to talk about any of that stuff that's in this video here, the two and a half hour long video. I'm going to tell you the three steps that you can get to $20,000 gross a month. So you're profiting $10,000 per month. So step one is 
a decent population. Be willing to drive further outside your bubble if you need to do that. Like I said, I would go 60 miles one way. Once you start running ads, you'll be stacking jobs for the entire day. So it makes it worth it. You know, you do a single item, yada, yada, yada. And now that I think about it, guys, 10 to $20,000 a month, you probably don't need that big of a population. You could probably get away with 100,000 to a quarter million to make that kind of money because we're talking about making $10,000 a month consistently. Two, hustle your ass off doing the things I mentioned earlier to get $10,000 in the bank. I want you to get $10,000 in the bank. That's all you need, maybe even five. I mean, if you're a gambler like I was in the beginning, you could start with a lot less because step three requires you to have a little bit of money and that is to start running Google ads. We're talking about new people, okay? There is no other way to consistently get to $10,000, $20,000 a month because you have no foundation. You could probably hustle everything I told you, maybe get lucky, land a property manager or an apartment building or some commercial contracts that bring you consistent volume, but let's not bank on luck. What I want you to do is order 100, 200 yard signs, 1,000 door hangers, hustle the shit until you guys get $10,000 in the bank, and then you're gonna run Google Ads. You can also do Facebook ads and Yelp ads, but Google Ads is more of a guarantee, as long as you dial them in and you know what you're doing, and that there's plenty of other videos on that, guys. Google Ads, yes, you gotta be very careful. You need to know what you're doing. You could burn your fucking cash, obviously. We, know, we all know that. Watch one of my Google videos here. I got a whole bunch of Google Ads videos, but I wanted to make this video, because I get this question a lot, and it's really not not that hard. The hard part is hitting the streets and doing the work and saving up 10 grand and then growing the balls to run the Google ads and actually do the Google ads. There's a company that I work with. You guys have probably heard it in every single video. I use ClickGeeks. ClickSkeek is awesome. They're, they're, they're the management company that run my ads. Watch this video here if you want to learn more about the Google ads management company I use. But you can use any ad management company. You can run your own ads, but it comes down to three simple steps. If you guys want to get to $20,000 gross per month and you want that financial freedom, three steps. Location, you're not gonna get to what I'm doing, a hundred grand a month if you're in a tiny town. Two, get 10 grand in the bank. I don't care if you have to go walk around neighborhoods naked, okay, that might actually not work. It'll probably scare people off, but I don't care if you have to hustle your ass off in 115 degree weather in Vegas, putting out yard signs, door knocking, run it. Do what you gotta do to get that 10 grand. Step three, you have to run ads. You know, I have bad months too. My lowest month ever in the winter was 60 grand. My highest month is 120. You're gonna have good months and bad months. It averages out. That's just the, the name of the game in junk removal. I'm actually working on a number four, Facebook ads. I'm starting to crack the code on Facebook ads to get that other source of customers who are passively looking and it's awesome. I'll do a video on Facebook ads later. I'm very close. But the reality is, is if you want consistency, in this business, you are gonna need a constant lead source because I don't want you to have to be out there all day, every day, doing yard signs and door hangers and posting on Facebook groups, right? We need to get you to the level of being able to run ads and running ads on Facebook, running ads on Google, running ads on Yelp. I mean, I have a budget per month for Thumbtack, a very small budget. I have a small budget for Yelp, you know, that just brings in that little extra. It's not my main, but I do plan on cranking them up in the future, but Google ads is probably your safest bet, guys. Future Andrew is back. And guys, I know those three steps are simple, but I wanted to be truthful with you. If you don't put in the years of work of years of SEO, of networking and foundation and building the business from the ground up like all these other OGs and all these other YouTubers, you're gonna have a hard time. You're not gonna just jump in and have leads falling from the sky, okay? You can't just turn on your website, do a little bit of SEO, even hire a company. You're not gonna get organic to number one above 1-800-GOT-JUNK, even if you get to the first page. SEO, we'll save that for another video, guys, but I wanted to be realistic, and this is something that is very attainable, guys. You can crush it with traditional marketing in the beginning, save up some money in the bank, run some ads, and Google is an ever-flowing river. It's just a constant source of leads and you can be there. I didn't wanna just tell you, go do this, go do that, and magically you're gonna have $10,000 a month, guys. The realistic truth of having a consistent 20,000 gross, 10,000 profit is you need to be on Google. You can also crush Facebook, but that's a different beast I'm working on. You can also crush Yelp, that's a different beast, but Google is kind of the go-to, and I just wanted you guys to realize that it is very possible. The truth is, guys, the truth is for us new guys, the reality is, that you need to get on Google. So 
Those are the three simple steps, guys. And if you have any questions at all, as always, you know you can reach me in the comments section. You can reach me anytime in the Discord channel. And if you guys want to know how to grow faster, better, stronger, my course is down below. Please check out the course. There's over 100 videos, 20 hours of content. Check it out. And as always, guys, I leave you with this. Success is often covered in dirt, but so was gold at one point. Toodles. Whoosh.